Welcome to WizKids, the exciting game show where knowledge is power and young minds shine. I am your host, Ramona Luti, and with me are some of the brightest and sharpest students from across Guyana who are here to test their knowledge in core subject areas related to the National Grade 6 Assessment. Let's get ready to meet our contestants. Contestant number one, can you tell me your name, age, and school, please? My name is Thais King. I am 11 years old. I attend Madi Primary School. Welcome. <clears throat> Contestant number two. I'm Melinda Mohan. I'm 11 years old and I attend CV Noons Primary School. All right. Contestant number three. <laughs> My name is Kayla Rose. I am 11 years old and I attend St. Ignatius Primary School. <clears throat> All right. Welcome. There are four categories of questions. Mathematics, Science, English and Social Studies. The host will select the first category and read the first question. Contestants will compete for the opportunity to answer questions by hitting their assigned buzzer. Once a question is read to completion, the contestants can then hit their buzzer. Contestants must keep their hands to their sides while a question is being read. The first contestant to hit their buzzer will be identified by the buzzer system and the host will then call on the contestant to answer the question. Once called upon by the host, the contestant has 10 seconds to answer the question. If a contestant answers the question correctly, they will be awarded 5 points and be allowed to select the category of the next question. If a contestant fails to answer a question correctly, the host will share the correct answer and will then select the category of the next question. Once a total of 40 questions has been exhausted, the contestant with the most points is declared the winner and will proceed on to the next round of competition. If any contestants have the same number of points or there is a tie, those contestants will then advance to a bonus round. The bonus round will contain five questions from any of the four categories, following the same rules and format as outlined. All right, so we'll get straight into it, okay? Remember to keep your hands to your sides at all times. Let's start with social studies, please. Rosau is the capital of something. Contestant number two. Dominica. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. In social studies. Which company plays a primary role in the extraction of petroleum in Guyana? Contestant number two. ExxonMobil. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science. The chemical formula of oxygen gas is... Contestant number two. O2. That is correct. And the symbol for oxygen alone would be O. Okay? Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mathematics. How many straight edges does a cuboid have? Contestant number two. Twelve. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. Choose the most appropriate punctuation mark to complete the sentence. Help, shouted the boy as the dog ran towards him. Contestant number one. Exclamation mark. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science. What is evaporation? Contestant number three. Evaporation is when water turns into gas. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. In the following sentence, fill in the blank with the correct pronoun. Those books are something and he wants them now. Contestant number two. Mine. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It will be his. It says those books are something and he wants them now. Okay. Let's proceed to mathematics, please. Two friends checked their body mass. Jim's mass was 5 kg less than Carl's. Whose mass was 32 kg? What was Jim's mass? Contestant number two. Jim's mass was 37 kg. I'm sorry, the correct response would have been 27 kg. Let's proceed to science, please. Which two body systems work together to transport oxygen to the cells in the human body? Contestant number one.
the respiratory system, and the circulatory system. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. Which natural region is the most populated in Guyana? Contestant number three. The low coastal plain. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Um, mathematics. What is a figure with nine sides called? Contestant number two. Ananagon. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. Which town is located in region nine? Contestant number two. Let him. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science. What is the most important organ in the respiratory system? Contestant number one. The lungs. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mathematics. What numbers can only be divided by one or themselves? Contestant number two. Prime numbers. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. The number of persons that live in an area is called its something. Contestant number three. Community. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It would be population. Let's proceed to English, please. In the following sentence, fill in the blank with the correct pronoun. Between the two of something, I don't agree with what Jane is doing. Contestant number three. Them. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It would be us. Between the two of us, I don't agree with what Jane is doing. Okay, let's proceed to science, please. Which body system gives shape to the body? Contestant number one. The skeletal system. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. Where are the laws of Guyana passed? Contestant number two. Parliament. That is correct. Or the National Assembly. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science. True or false, mango is an example of a monocotyledonous plant. Contestant number two. False. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mathematics. The name of the polygon that has 17 sides is something. Contestant number two. Pentaheptagon? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It would be the heptadecagon. Okay, let's proceed to social studies, please. Which is the largest continent in the world? Contestant number one. Asia. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science. The part of the eye that allows light to enter and focus on the retina is called the something. Contestant number two. The cornea. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. Recommend a word that means the same as the one underlined in the following sentence. The nurse was very cautious when attending to the elderly patients. Contestant number one. Warn. Pardon me? Warn. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. In this context, it would be careful. Okay. Okay. Let's proceed to mathematics, please. Which is the only even prime number? Contestant number two. Two. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. Hubert Nathaniel Critchlow is usually remembered on what date? Contestant number two. The first of May. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science. What is the strongest and biggest bone in the human body? Contestant number two. The femur. That is correct. Or the thigh bone. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. Name the nine towns and capital city of Guyana. Contestant number two. Mabaruma, Anna Regina, There's No Town in Region 3, The Capital City of Region 4 is Georgetown, There's No Town in Region 5, Rose Hall, Carriverton, New Amsterdam, Bartica, Madia, Letem, Linden. That is correct. Go ahead and select the next category, please. Social studies. This is the last social studies question. Who was Guyana's first premier? Contestant number two. Dr. Chetty Jagan. That is correct. We've exhausted social studies thus far. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science. How many legs does an insect have? 
Contestant number one. Three pair. That is correct. Or six. Go ahead and select the next category, please. English. Identify the part of speech of the underlined word in the following sentence. The headmaster praised them for their good behavior. Contestant number two. Now. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mathematics. What is a figure with 10 sides called? Contestant number two. Decagon. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. Recommend a word that means the same as the one underlined in the following sentence. Pepper pot is a dish that is usually served at Christmas, but can also be served all year round, usually. Contestant number two. Normally. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mathematics. What is the total distance around the figure? Contestant number two. Perimeter. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science. This is the last science question. The trachea is part of which body system? Contestant number three. The respiratory. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. I'm sorry, that has been oh, exhausted. English. What correct preposition would complete the following sentence? Samantha was walking something me when we were asked to go outside. Contestant number one. Beside. That is correct. Or alongside. Okay. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. Choose the most appropriate punctuation mark to complete the sentence. Are you going to the mall for lunch? Contestant number three. A question mark. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mathematics. True or false, Jane can add two odd numbers and get an odd number as the sum. Contestant number two. False. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. Choose a word that means the same as the one underlined in the following sentence. The frightened child stood still in the middle of the street as the car approached. Frightened. Contestant number three. Scared. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. This is the last English question. Choose the most suitable meaning for the expression underlined in the sentence below. Sonia was warned by her brother not to spill the beans since that would get her in trouble with Shane. Spill the beans. Contestant number two. Reveal the secret. That is correct. And the last question for this segment. 1.29 expressed as a percentage is? Contestant number two. 129%. That is correct. All right, contestants, based on the scores displayed, we have contestant number two in the lead for this round of WizKids. Contestant number one in second place and contestant number three in third place. Congratulations, guys. Thank you so much for being a part of WizKids this year. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Ghana Learning Channel's WizKids show. Join us next time for even more excitement, challenges, and friendly competition. I'm your host, Ramona Luti, saying goodbye and see you in the next episode. I thought I did very well because I was only in for half of the questions. I thought it was, this was just so exciting and I can't believe I'm here. Just believe in yourself, you can do it, don't be nervous, this is a friendly competition.